Okay, hello sir. Please, I would like to add first to introduce yourself and tell us about something, your organization and something about yourself. Sure. Hi, I'm Bhavik Vasa. I'm the founder and CEO of GetVantage. Uh, and we are on a mission and a passion uh, to fund and fuel every entrepreneur out there with alternative forms of capital. Okay, sir. There's a question about uh, that as you are one of the winners. So, how do, what does this award mean to you and how are you feeling about that? Uh, I think the honest word is relieved. Uh, with three months to go when I turn 40, I think uh, it's just in time uh, to get this recognition. Uh, I think uh, I have to take this opportunity to uh, thank the BW team, Dr. Batra, Aman, who's been on the jury and an old dear friend. Uh, and I think the way this recognition helps uh, is it helps that one more step to build awareness uh, for this mission and passion we have at GetVantage uh, to build awareness with as many aspiring and budding founders and achievers out there uh, that there are multiple ways of building your business and alternative ways of raising capital to grow your business. Okay sir, any one big lesson from your, from your entire career you, want to, you would like to share here? Well as a founder I think we learn a lesson every day, every hour. Uh, it's a roller coaster journey. Every day, har din kuch naya hota hai, har kuch din kuch naya seekhne ko milta hai. Uh, but I think the one biggest thing and uh, learning I take uh, away from uh, my decade plus journey as an operator, as a founder, uh, and I share this with a lot of fellow founders, other startups that I mentor, uh, that as an entrepreneur, uh, we need to stop taking ourselves too seriously. Uh, Bohat dil pe nahi lena hai. Don't take anything too personally. Don't take anything too seriously. It's a journey. You're going to have good days and bad days. And it's really not about how many losses you get. It's just about how many wins you win along the way. So don't take yourself too seriously is the advice I'd give myself uh, 10 years ago. That's true. That's true. And there's one question about uh, like a 2021 funding boom. Do you think uh, 2024 is going to be something like that? Because we are seeing funding winter for, we have seen that in 23. What do you think about that? You know, just like nature, I think everything in life, in business, uh, is exactly like nature. Just the way we have different seasons, right? Every winter is followed by a spring, spring is followed by summer, and a summer is followed by an autumn. So this is cyclical. Every season, the rook Jaise badalta hai, waise hi seasons also change and so in business, you'll always see a bull market and a bear market. You will see corrections, you will see the highs and the lows. Lekin I think it's not about comparing 2021 to 2024 or anything like that. Uh, I think it's more about saying that this is the market. India and the emerging market is the place to be uh, for anybody aspiring to build a business because truly, uh, I don't think only this year or this coming year, but this decade belongs to India. Okay, sir. What are the three top do's and don'ts you think uh, that entrepreneurs should follow and do not do it and do it, whatever? I think there is no magic mantra or silver bullet. There's no do's and don'ts. Uh, but I think the few things that uh, I would really say that uh, absolutely please do is uh, make sure that you're getting into this journey for the right reason. Because it's a very difficult journey. Hai. If you're not truly passionate about solving some problem, right, uh, it's going to be very tough. Because every day they get up to show up, to be there again. Uh, so get into an entrepreneur or a founder journey uh, when you absolutely believe it and you really want to do it. There has to be a higher meaning and purpose to it all. Uh, second, I think it's a do and a don't. Don't overcomplicate. Keep it think simple, right? Keep things simple. Basics pe focus karo. Uh, and I think it all works out. Of course, you have to innovate. Of course, you have to do something new. But uh, overcomplicate mat karo. Har cheez ko keep it very, very, very simple. And that's where a not to do also is you know, ultimately, dhanda dhanda hota hai. There's going to be revenues, there's going to be profit, there's going to be loss. Yes, you invest in growth. But the business ke fundamentals hai, wo kabhi nahi change hoonge. So keep an eye on that basics. Uh, you know, people keep asking me, is it now going to be about revenue and profitability? 
सर वो कभी चेंज नहीं हुआ है एज फाउंडर्स जस्ट बिल्ड समथिंग सस्टेनेबल विद द राइट आई ऑन यूनिट इकोनॉमिक्स विद द राइट आई ऑन दीज बेसिक्स दैट ग्रो योर बिजनेस इन अ वेरी सस्टेनेबल फैशन एंड यू सर्वाइव मल्टीपल साइकिल्स ऑफ हाईज एंड लोज Okay, the next one is given the emphasis on profitability in these times. Yeah. How difficult is it to balance the pursuit of profitability with the ambition to scale, grow, and become bigger? So I think uh, in the uh, quest of not sounding repetitive, uh, I will repeat that ultimately, uh, if you have the right fundamentals in your business, uh, and as a founder, you are aware of two things. Uh, I think. every founder should be aware of what truly are the deliverables and the matrix and the targets that they are chasing as a business kyunki har phase of the journey mein uh, your target changes uh, you have to go for growth sometimes you have to acquire new customers if you're doing something innovative you have to invest so it's not always going to be a profitable journey but keep your eye on the fact ki there is always at least a path you understand that once i crack this there is going to be some unit economics and the business will ultimately make money because i think everybody invests for some return ultimately okay sir in a year marked by caution and correction what do you plan to do differently in the upcoming year to ensure your business not only survives but thrives in 2024 and ahead so i think uh, it's not only something that i love to do it's something i like to share it's something that as get vantage we like to share with every founder out there Uh, that every founder should have a founder's financial toolkit and understanding ki ye time aap jaise abhi bole ki is this a funding winter what the next year is going to be how do you survive to understand and be aware that there are various other options of fundraising and accessing capital beyond just equity there is a down cycle or there is a funding winter in equity funding but not necessary for other forms of growth capital not necessary for other forms of revenue based funding or venture finance so as long as a founder is aware that yaar har phase of my business and at every juncture if i'm building a sustainable business uh, being aware that i have other forms of capital that i can access to get my business from x to 2x to 3x so even in a downtime i can continue to be on a growth trajectory uh, and be making sure that i'm getting from one milestone to the other okay today everything is digitalized and everything is on social media how do you think this is playing a role in your market and your business i think technology now is an absolute uh, must in every business in every vertical uh, you know as get vantage we truly believe that small businesses have always been the backbone of the indian economy and now with technology what we are starting to see is that it's actually digital small businesses it's digitized small businesses that are going to drive this next decade of india ahead right uh, there is this massive aspiration we all have ki india from a 3 trillion economy is going to be a 5 trillion economy and to get to that right to get to 5 trillion 10 trillion it's really interesting we did a research and we we understood that there are 7 to 10 million small businesses that we call as digital small businesses and emerging brands and it's going to be these small businesses and brands that are going to really uh, fuel the growth of the overall india story the india growth story and that's why i call this ke this next it's not going to be the next decade of india it's going to be the decade of india okay sir thank you for all your insights it thank was you wonderful thank you so much thank you lovely thank you